He came back from the garden with a cut on his leg. I thought not to worry about it. And then three days later, he started to feel like he's under the weather, as if he's like had flu. And he looked really bad. So I told him, I'm taking you to the e &E. The patient arrived, he was conscious, but he had a low grade fever. I checked his vitals and it was fine, but I came back half an hour later and he was confused and his speech was slurred. And I thought something is really wrong here. I asked the doctor, should I call his parents? And he told me, yes, and don't wait. We put him on life support, we did everything we could, but sadly, six hours later, he died. He had sepsis. When he cut himself, bacteria entered the wound site. They started to multiply, then spread through the body and the blood. His immune system fought off the infection, but the response got out of control. Organs started to get damaged, and then they started to fail until it was too late. What we need with sepsis is to catch it as soon as possible so we can give antibiotics early. It's a disease that's hard to spot and we are researching into how to detect it early and one way to do so is to look into the heart rhythm. There are some small early changes that we can detect and that can be used to determine which patients we will treat first. Hopefully these prediction tools can help us to treat sepsis better.